Hello, and thanks for choosing Pebble Host. Today, we'll be taking a look at how to set up a firewall on your Minecraft server. We've gone ahead and logged into the server panel, and the first thing we're going to do is go to the Advanced drop-down menu. From here, you'll go to Firewall, and this will bring you to the Firewall Configuration page. Now, there's a few different reasons you may want to use a firewall. One being bungee cord. To ensure your network stays secure, you may need to make it so only the proxy server can connect to the backend servers. This is because the backend server has to run in offline mode. So if players can directly connect to it, then they can join with any username. Therefore, you can set up a firewall that only allows bungee cord to connect to it. Another reason to use a firewall is to prevent malicious connections. This means if someone uses an exploit such as a null ping attack or any other similar exploit, you can block their IP on the network so the packets don't reach your server. If you're using a service such as Cloudflare Spectrum or TCP Shield, you're able to block all connections that don't come directly from that service, meaning all connections will need to come through that service in order to reach your server. With that being said, you can also directly block any specific IP you'd like. Towards the bottom of the page, you'll notice a feature called Automatic Bungee Cord Firewall. As it says, this feature will automatically configure the server selected with a firewall to block external connections to the server. This will stop UUID spoofing exploits. And we can read more about this on the knowledge base guide. In order to set this up, we'll need to go ahead and select our bungee cord proxy server. So on the drop down, let's go ahead and select my bungee server. Keep in mind, in order for this to automatically work, you will need to have a second server. So in my case, I have a tutorial server V1, which is the server we're currently on. And I also have my bungee cord server. So like I said previously, we'll go ahead and select the bungee server and click configure. And as you can see, it's generated two new rules. The first rule has taken the bungee cord server's IP address and given it the port 25565 as that's our default port with the priority 25 and we've set the connection type to allow. The second firewall rule it's made is that all IPs connecting with the port 25565 with the priority one will be blocked. What this is essentially saying is only this IP can go ahead and connect to this server. Like previously stated, this will stop things such as UUID spoofing. Keep in mind, in order for this to work, you'll need to repeat the same exact process for every other backend server you have. For example, if you have a survival server and a faction server, you'll need to do that on both of those servers. However, you will not need to do it on your Bungie server. Now that we've covered the automatic Bungie cord setup, Let's go ahead and take a look at a few of the manual configuration options we have in order to set up a firewall. On the firewall configuration page, we have a few different items on the menu. We have IP address, port, priority, and type. If we go ahead and click new rule, you're going to see a few different options we can fill out for these categories. Under IP address, we can select custom IP, my IP, or all IPs. If we select custom IP and enter in an IP address, these changes will affect that IP address and that IP address only. If we select all IPs, all IP addresses connecting to your server will be affected by these changes. If we select my IP, this will pull your IP directly connecting to the panel and that IP will be used in place of the custom IP. Now let's go ahead and leave this on all IPs and I'm going to keep the port to 25565 as that's the only port that I currently have set up on my server by default. For priority, I'm going to go ahead and put this at one. The firewall rules are applied in the order of priority. The node will read the rules from the highest priority number to the lowest priority number, and then check each rule in order. And for type, we're going to go ahead and leave this on allow. Now, this is a bit of a silly rule as all it's saying is all connections using any IP using the port 25565 will be allowed to connect to my server. While I don't recommend setting up this rule as it's a bit of a nonsense rule, we can go ahead and click save and see how the rule has affected the page. As you can see, it saved this rule and we can edit it clicking the edit button and make any sort of changes we want to this rule. That goes for the save button as well. This will save any changes you've made. If we no longer want this rule, we can go ahead and click the trash can icon and then press delete. As discussed previously, if we want to block a specific IP address, we can go ahead and select the custom IP. Let's go ahead and enter in a random IP address. I've gone ahead and grabbed an IP address from Google and that's the IP we'll go ahead and use. Now, if we go ahead and enter that in for custom IP and select the port 25565 with the priority of one 
and we will select the connection type to block and click save. What this will do is if this IP tries to connect with this port to our server, it will not allow it. If you have a plugin on your server that creates some sort of external web page for players to connect to, but you want to whitelist it to a specific IP, you can do so by the following. Go ahead and click New Rule, click Custom IP, and enter in the IP address you want to be whitelisted. So for this, we'll go ahead and put the random IP I've gotten from Google, and then we'll need to select the port the plugin is running on. So in this case, this is port 8088. We'll go ahead and select that, and we can put the priority to 25, and as long as it's above one, uh, and you have no other rules, this should be just fine. And we're going to select the type allow. So let's go ahead and save that rule. And we're going to create an additional rule. And this rule will be for all IPs. We're going to select that same exact port and we'll put priority one. We're putting priority one as priority one is below 25. This means that priority 25 will take effect before one. For this type, we're going to go ahead and select block and we'll save that rule as well. So what this is essentially saying is only this IP here that we've whitelisted, connecting through port 8088, will be able to connect to whatever is running on that port. All other IPs trying to connect to whatever is running on that port will be blocked. This can be a very useful feature for something like DynMap or some sort of band management system. If we wanted to add another IP that's able to connect to whatever is running on that port, we can do so by clicking New Rule, selecting Custom IP, entering in the IP address, and then selecting that same port, putting the priority to some similar number as our previous IP address, as long as that number is above the priority of 1. So in this case, we'll go ahead and just put it as the priority of 24. And the type will be again set to Allow, and we can save that rule. So now both of these IP addresses are whitelisted to be able to go to whatever is running on this port. This is a very useful and powerful tool to have on your server. We have a full knowledge base article on help.pebblehost.com if you're wanting some more information. That's going to wrap it up for this tutorial. If you have any questions regarding anything we've covered in this video, feel free to join the Pebblehost Discord and we'd be more than happy to help you there.